It also means to be brought into alignment, to put a thing in its proper function and proper position. It is an element of restoring, repairing, so that our function is restored. So that we can be prepared to meet the demands of our day. As we're being brought into alignment, the saints are being brought, because that's what we found it over in Ephesians 4. The saints are being brought into alignment by the fivefold ministry. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's very important for us to understand that we're being equipped. We're being edified, equipped, and established. And as the more and more we get grounded and rooted and allow the word to be settled in our heart and the principles that are being released to us, it will position us. And, you know, one thing about it, as you submit to the word and submit to the oracles and submit to the command of the spirit, there's no striving. It's not by might, it's not by power, but it's of God's spirit. Therefore, he has deputized a five-fold ministry to bring us into that alignment. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't by coincidence we, talk, we talked about uh, the word order, how God is bringing order. So you cannot have a perfect fit. You can't be edified. You can't be equipped or established without understanding that order is the connotation of the day. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And this is why he's given us leaders who, who are bringing credibility and grace and upgrade. Resources and accessibility and integration of the kingdom of God. The integration of the graces upon each and every individual member. Right? Okay. And since he's integrating all the members, and it is it's incumbent upon all the members, not just a select few. It's not and if if there's a partial participation, then guess what? There's a spirit called the spirit of Nicolaitans that comes. The spirit of Nicolaitans. You ever heard of it? Mm -hmm. It means to suppress the leadership. I mean, suppress the laity. Mm -hmm. Nico overcome. Laitians is laity. So, so when a laity, you know you're a part of the laity, right? Mm -hmm. In the Dark Ages, there was a, a dissension that transpired. Before the Dark Ages, uh, the first century church understood the priesthood of all believers. Right? I'm just, I'm just telling you. First century church, book of Acts. They believe in the priesthood of all believers. Deacons, Stephen, the deacon, demonstrated a measure of glory that even when he was stoned, the heavens opened. And his word, the word deacon is diacono, the same word for minister. And yeah, we slept on that word. We gave them a, a, a legal status that, they, that is unbiblical. We made them maids and servants. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank God we're in the season of reformation. Mm -hmm. You can hear it. And hearing is not enough. It must become a part of who we are. Right? So this is why we, we eventually begin to go to six of the places. Well, two of the places of the six total that I have. It might be more than that. Let me look at my notes. We might have went more than that. Oh, two, two. oh yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're in the fourth place of the six. So we got two left after this fourth one. Because we talked about men in the nets, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about how God is, uh, we, we talked about the parallel, how the nets work, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I ain't got to repeat that. If you don't know what it is, go back over it. But it's a profound concept that you either going to, some of us got to leave our nets to mend our nets. Amen. Okay. Where you going is gonna be incumbent upon uh, what you're willing to give up. Okay. Uh, anyhow, then we looked at first uh, first Corinthians one and ten. We found out that there's uh, same judgment, same mind, and all those different as aspects of you being one of court and and understanding what corporate life is all about. And then uh, actually, this is the third one. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, third one is uh, actually Galatians 6 and 1. Right? Yeah, just say yeah, please. So I can move ahead. Jesus Christ. I just said it was. And y'all y'all looking at y'all notes trying to figure out if it was? Yeah. Okay, so it's the third point. We're going to look at that pretty. So let's go to Galatians 6. Did you guys understand 1 Corinthians 1 and 10? 
Let, let me go ahead and get this before we go over to Galatians. Because this is my notes. I didn't mention it last time. I kind of glossed. I was in a hurry to get to Galatians 6 and 1. But let me make you this statement. I, this is something I, I personally, right? This is a personal thing for me. We, uh, we receive strength from the other believers. When we're talking about having uh, 1 Corinthians 1.10 perfectly joined together, Remember that part? Being perfectly joined together? That's what God is looking for? Perfect doesn't mean there won't be mistakes. <coughs> he, he gave us the, what it means to be perfect. It's to have the same thing, same message, same ideology, right? Same mind and same judgment. So, but the time, the, now the same thing is a precursor to producing the same mind, the same outlook, and then coming to the same conclusion, right? If we come to the same conclusion, if we have the same mind, the same same thing, same mind, and same judgment, because that's what the word means, being able to decide effectively as a corporate body, we can receive strength from others, believers, when we gather together. Yes. Yes. Am I right? Mm -hmm. yes. This is what I wrote. We receive strength from the other believers we gather with, and the message is our marching orders to apply to our lives and to help us to change the world around us. At first, it changes who we are in Jerusalem, then Judea, then Samaria, and other parts of the earth. I'm not at all bringing religious with this, but understand you must get. <coughs> I'm not trying to be religious with this, but understand you must get to the place that the local church is a, a part, a necessary part of your life. Amen. I'm gonna say that again. It is not me being religious if I'm emphatic about. The local church, because it is a necessary mm -hmm. part of our life, mm -hmm. community, mm -hmm. learning to uh, be strengthened. Mm -hmm. And we're gathering around a central message and a central theme that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, this, this strength and liberty manifested cannot be duplicated by the devil devices. Mm -hmm. God will add the increase to what he has ordained to progress us. To grow in grace and not maintain some religious holding patterns. Because most of us are on religious holding patterns because we still cleave to bylaws and doctrines. We're not cleaving to the living word. And the living word is being expressed in a living reality in a body that belongs to him. Therefore, God has called you to a place. You are part of that body and God wants you to be a part of that body. A body is, a body is part of the body. And this body must have a visible expression. Right? Mm -hmm. It's not some ethereal experience. Although it's eternal in the heavens, it's not an ethereal, nebulous experience. It's something that must be tangible. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is why God attaches you to a group of people by calling you to a place. He connects you to a people. Then he commits you to a purpose. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. God attaches you to a group of people by calling you to a place. Mm -hmm. He connects you to a people, then he commits you to a purpose that's in that place. Mm -hmm. That's God's way. Mm -hmm. Knowing this, I refuse to elevate the message and revelation of the kingdom over and above love and relationships. Yes. Yes. There is a fitting and set time and place for any God called release of truth and revealing of himself to and in and through any gathering or company of people. All things done decently in order are to be the keepers of the peace, love, and unity of the brethren. God's seasons accompany his reasons for who, when, where, how, and why he creates a foundation and constructs a house and plants a work and fills it with lively stones mm -hmm. that are being fitted together, amen, mm -hmm. in praising his name and then are expressing his life and com in complete present truth with each other throughout their daily living in the earth realm. Mm -hmm. So there are close associations. <clears throat> so it's not an anomaly to be rightly connected to a body. Something that is tangible, something that is up close, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's so much bigger than a circle, mm -hmm. it's so much bigger than a click. Yeah. There is so much that the church is a living. This is where I'm going to go real quick. I love this. This, I was going to put this on uh, our teaching on the island, but I wanted to save it because it needs to be set by itself. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs that some words are like uh, choice silver. Mm -hmm. Pictures of gold. Mm -hmm. Apples of gold. Okay, I'm just saying. There is so much that the church as a living organism can accomplish in the earth. 
Apart, we are powerless, but together we are powerful. There are hundreds of thousands that are so-called born-again, spirit-filled believers that are not a part of any local church. They don't have the same mind, same judgment, or the same thing. They sit at home and have and bad mouth the church and run no solution. <laughs> if we are the mature ones, then sometimes we have to eat the bread of adversity and get our feelings off of our sleeve. Mm -hmm. And get to the local church of, of God's choice and give back to the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If there are issues within the church, let's be a solution. Amen. Be a part, a reconciled blessing, and a help, and help of people, and, and help of people, the church, and be a healthy people so that the church can be a greater influence in the community and nation. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a solution, if I'm a reconciler, if I'm a blessing, then the church will have a greater influence in the community and in the nation. Amen. The Holy Ghost will reveal where you are to connect. He is the one that sets you where you need to be. This is all right on time what Apostle was talking about. <laughs> Abuses are not excuses. All right. And just because you had a bad experience in the past does not mean it will be your experiences again. Amen. When it comes to the local church, we are people of faith, so we walk by faith. Mm -hmm. The church is not perfect, but the perfect one is the one we are all beholden. Yes. Oh, I need to say that again. Yes. The church is not perfect, but the perfect one is the one we are all beholden. And as we arise to walk in his full plan and purpose, I do believe that the church, I, that the church will become a, a beacon of light and hope mm -hmm. in a region. Yes. Right? Yes. Therefore, we must replace our proclivity to live independently of the whole. Amen. Amen. So we must have a desire to understand there's a function that God has included us in that our independent function is no longer sufficient. Mm -hmm. Right? So you have to 